show a while back, but this is going to be the review slash overview of my absolutely shit Peugeot 206. So, to start things off, it's a 1.4 litre engine with like a massive amount of brake horsepower, like 67 I think we've got. It's um, got an MOT, I don't know if it's real or not, but it's apparently got one. It until February this year, so it's gonna be going soon to the scrapyard. It's got 10 owners on the 10th owner. And as you can see, it's got... Let's see wakes up. Yeah, that's broken. There's a lot broken, but we'll go through that in a minute. There we go, 152,000 miles, 752. 1,500, 152,752 miles. So it's done quite a few miles in its life. Bit of a workhorse now, hence the roof. But yeah, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing it and just showing you how much it is ruined, what I've done to it and stuff like that. First of all, we'll start with the wrecked engine. So the first thing, we've got an air filler. That was just a cheap one from my mate. He was getting rid of it. Got some cables here. Basically DRL running light, DRL running lights, they're like running lights. We've got sprayed ECU, silver, more brake horse power. Once the energy can on here. We've got a thermostat delete to make the engine run cooler. We've got a cat delete in the cat, which is just under there. Just that cylinder just there. So that's been smashed out and deleted. We've got oil in it. Don't know how much. I poured some in when I first bought it. It's running all right. We've got this pipe which is snapped. This is my coil pack, which is obviously very well held in. I've got my gigantic subwoofer cables, which are bigger than the cables that actually power the car. Very safe. We've got red paint everywhere because red paint makes you go faster. We've got some exhaust paste on here, which tried to seal the exhaust, but I don't think it really worked, to be honest. So we've got air vent deletes in here to get more air into the engine. We've got some air vent delete in there to get more air into the engine. Brakes holes, more air, obviously. It's all just a joke, really. I don't think it actually does anything. These might do something, I don't know. Fans red, see for that. Pretty much for the engine bay, we've got yellow lights on the front which look tacky as fuck, which is funny. We've got the, uh, the single wiper conversion, which were just literally two bolts, which I undid. Remove the wiper blade so it sits there. On the front, we've got red grill, which I just got bored and decided to spray. It was gonna be an AirTech logo, but it's not really, you can't really see it well. Toe strap, cable tied on, obviously gonna work very well. Fog light delete because it was already missing one, so I just thought I'd oh, fuck it, take it one out. So hold the bumper on. We have one cable tie here, one cable tie here, and some nice cross stitches here. That's the only thing hold the bumper on on this side. These just hold these bits of trim on. We've got a black badge, another cable tie, custom made plate which was hacksawed down and filed to size. It's basically a short plate. Held in by um, very reliable wood screws because that's how you put number plates on apparently. So we'll go around this way. We've got rusty panel, angle grinded down and sprayed with hydrogen peroxide to make it rust quicker. That's my Instagram, Ruin206. That was just made out of a template. Black wheels, because black wheels make you fast with the red brakes, five brake horsepower per caliper. These were literally just sprayed, hence you can still see the uh, over, not over spray, the curbing of the uh, curbs. We've got black trim on the sides, sprayed on the car, that's why there's some over spray on the sides. Black wing mirror, literally just sprayed black. Doesn't actually look too bad. I'm assuming I literally just sprayed it black. We've got right here, dents. This is the anger section, you board, you punch it or smack it with a hammer. Pop out windows, cause, oh, they're cool. I won't show you the boot yet, we'll go around to the boot after. Drum brakes, red drum brakes, because why not? 
roof is severely dented just because I put pallets on top of it and I carry stuff on my roof because it is a bit of a workhorse. I bought that with the car, little metal antenna, pretty cool. Probably the only thing it was actually decent with the car. Let's put the bonnet down. Oh, we've got gang shit written on the bonnet because why not? So we've got Ruin 206 on the side of the bonnet. Red stripe, black stripe, black stripe, hood scoop. Real hood scoop, not a fake one. The air filter is actually just on the knife. You're not gonna be able to see it on the camera. Obviously the stock, the stock scoop thing, which basically does nothing except feed the air pollen filter. This, whatever I decided to do here, honestly don't know what I was doing. I was just like, oh, stick some squares on, camera wrap. These become fiber until I polished them. They've been a bit funny. More red brakes. Self tappers holding the pillar, holding the fender on, and these are actually wood screws holding the panel on, hence the rubbing and the fact my car looks like it's been broken into. No mirror on this side, more black seals, black petrol cap, matching black bumper to match the front. These were blue originally, but they now are black. Um, obviously, tinted windows or rounds. Tinted and tinted. If you look inside, they look absolutely shocking inside just because it was tint spray and tint spray doesn't go on very well. Like I found out you can see all over it, but it keeps whatever's in the boots in, in the boot from being nicked, which I will now show you. Front of the car, we've got McDonald's because everyone has McDonald's. If you get in the car, pretty standard here. Got some stickers going on here for our sticker bomb it. Pioneer radio with some Chinese Bluetooth device thing to help me connect my phone to it. We've got wiper delete, which looks absolutely amazing inside. If you go up a bit more, we've got stickers on the sunstrip. Four quid for me, mate, and I thought it looked a bit different, so why not really? We've got those different types of yeah stickers. Phone mount, not really a lot in here. That's changed in the front. Short and gear shifter because I thought why not do that. But other than that, it's pretty standard. Obviously we've got the uh oh, we've got indicators. Obviously we've got a uh engine management light because it's Persia. But yeah, if you look at the top of the roof, no roof. Got no lights, none of the, that in the back. We've got a full rear interior delete, even the carpets at the back are being deleted. Massive sub in the back with custom wood holding it in, stops it from jumping around. Except when I decide to go over speed bumps really fast, it does sometimes jump out of place. It looks like extinguisher, spare wheel, tool bag. But other than that, that is pretty much it more weight saving but yeah so that is my Peugeot 206 absolutely ruined more uh, more speed holes Instagram permanent marker I think that's everything covered so I hope you enjoyed the video and check out my other Peugeot videos where I ever ruin this car